G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to install the rear diff, try and get the brakes fitted up, get the drums on, and get the rear end rolling. So since I saw you last, I've fitted that um, reverse die spring that we made up. That's all fitted up. The um, steering column's ready to go in. I haven't drilled the holes yet though. And the diff has been sorted out. My rear spring is ready. Um, I'm just making up a set of shackles at the moment. Um, we'll get that mounted up, we'll get that fitted, and then we can start working on the brakes and putting the wheels on. Exciting times. And I've been slowly going through my bits, cleaning them up, getting them ready for assembly too. My workbench over here is a bit of a mess, but um, I've got my kingpin parts on order and also some front spring shackles, so when that arrives, we can do the front end. But let's focus on the rear end and get this sorted out. So in my opinion, true hot rodding is adapting what you've got. And I'm also trying to keep to the theme of the era. So I have some, they're about 1936, I guess, front shackles, um, front spring shackles, which I'm modifying to be my rear shackles on my Model A. I don't have any rear shackles for a Model A. I don't want to buy a set, so why not make a set? And what I've got to do is make those square holes round to suit my new bolts. Bam! Well that works. All we've got to do now is connect the other side. And if you've seen my previous videos on the Model A, um, they're not the easiest thing to get over there. There's a few ways to do it. The best way is with a spreader bar. Um, it's a tool that spreads the spring apart, which will get it over to there. The other way is to pull the spring pack apart, which is the way I normally do it, because I don't have a spreader bar, but I do have a quarter power, which I'm going to try and use for this job. See how we go. Unconventional, but effective. Let's do this. Job done. Now we can whack her in. Bam! We've got a diff. There's my little brackets. So these guys go up underneath. I'll do that now on the new bolts. And um, that's it. Um, there's wishbones to go on it, but we'll put that on when we put the talk tube on. You know, I've built a lot of cars over the years, and um, there's just something about this build that. Uh, I don't know, I'm loving it, hey. It's just a whole lot of fun. Um, what's different with this build to the other builds I've made over the years? I don't know. Um, maybe because I'm working through a team. Maybe that's what it is. It's um, Normally I'll just build a car and I'll just make it how I want to make it. Um, but I'm making this obviously to try and be as period correct as possible using period parts and um, it's not really a challenge I guess it's it's more of I don't know it's just enjoyable I'm just really enjoying it awesome therapy I'm telling you parcels to pick up car parts from Model A. Um, maybe get some breakfast, so I'm going to Macca's. And none of that is at all interesting, especially when I'm just driving the daily free bucket. So I've got four stops. I've got post office, shackle rubbers, and kingpin bushes. Yes. I've got Macca's. Okay, up this way. Yeah, can I get a um, sausage muffin meal with a medium mocha, please? A sausage muffin meal with a medium mocha? That's it. Sorry, full cream? Uh, skim, please. Skim? Yep. Anything else? That's all. That one's just starting. 45, got to. I got Bunnings, hardware store. Now 
and I've got to go to my mum's pick up some panels and stuff that I've delivered and other bits. Well, I got my parcel, saw my mum. Good to see my mum. A few jobs around the house. She even got me ugh, some homemade gherkins. Yum. Oh. Let's head home and unpack this thing. Mail call! Don't you just love getting parcels, especially when it's bits for your hot rod. Let's um, see what we've got in here. So first of all, I know what these are. These are my shackles for my front end, for my spring. Since I've ordered these, I've managed to get my hands on some original ones. So we'll see what we get, see what they're like. And um, if not, we can use these ones. And um, if I do use them, I'll be painting them black because I don't want them shiny and new because we're not building a street rod. All right. So, in here, I do believe, is my king pin set. Doing this one handed. The king pins are expensive for this, but I did order a complete king pin set, which includes the later style pins. Now, the reason I did that was I needed these bushes. I needed new cotter pins, remember the bolts in the other one? Comes with the felts. It also comes with the spacers, the shims, and brand new bearings for the shafts. Now, it is cheaper to buy the whole kit, even though I'm not going to use these. I might use them for something else another time. But it's cheaper to buy the whole kit than buy all these parts separately. So, it works out much better. Bam! And this is the one I've been waiting for. This come from a really good mate of mine, Simon. Simon knows who he is. Simon, you're an absolute legend. Simon has one of the coolest, well, if not, actually, in my opinion, the coolest full fended Model A Roadster in Australia. And I'll show you a picture of it. Now, I met Simon at the first Boogaloo, and um, I'm pretty sure that's where we met. And We've been mates ever since. He does live a long way away, but we stay in touch. And he heard I was looking for some bits and um, hooked me up. So let's see what we've got in here. Simon's also building a traditional Model A Tourer as well, which I'm quite eager to see. Dead set legend. What we got? Engine mounts. This means we can put my engine in now. That's what I was really waiting for. Let's clean them up. Perfect. We also have a dash. I need a dash. We'll clean that up and paint it. Thanks, man. That is awesome. Here we have center pillars. Now the center pillars go between the front and the back doors. Look at that. Look at that. They're perfect. They are perfect. Man, pretty much everything I'm getting for this car is like this, like original, non-repaired, no rust. It absolutely blows my mind. Simon, you are a legend, my friend. Thank you very much. And finally, this panel here is quite large, but it is the panel that goes behind the front seat. It's like the separator panel. The um, These guys fit on here, and then your back seat sort of sits here. So another piece that I was missing out of the puzzle. Mate, thank you very much, I am stoked. Let's do some things.
there's that moment when you're building a car and it becomes a roller. This is that moment. Well, the back half anyway. That's it. We have a rear end, a functioning rear end. Still a bit to connect, but she rolls apart from the front stands. And no front wheels or axle or anything, but back end's done. Anyway, that's it from me today. I'm done. I need to have a rest and um, start thinking about the front end. So we'll see you when that happens. Stay cool, be good to your mates, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Cheers, see ya.